was that when you came back from the military and you saw your phone and everyone's trying to like hit you up or yeah it was that was basically it. yeah basically yeah. like just looking at my phone and seeing what's going on like i'm in a whole nother mind space realm all that and i'm like damn <laughs> going crazy, you know what I'm saying? What, what do you mean cool. by you got your phone back, though? At the time, I didn't even have, like, I had no connection, like, no uh, way of talking to, like, my family or any, anything at that point. Just me and my mind, I guess. But then, like, coming back and seeing what all the work I had did, all the numbers are just boosted. It was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. like, oh. Why did you join the military? I'm, I'm, everyone has, like, been wondering, you know? Um... Well, what's going on, guys? You're watching KTL right now, chilling in New York with one of my favorite new artists. I'm with Hard Row. What's up, bro? Good, bro. What's up? Long time coming. How you um? How you feeling today? So it's a good day. Yeah, yeah show today. It's gonna be a good day. Man, I wanna um I wanna show you something because before anything, I feel like a majority of people see you now at your shows and there's so many people and people like know your lyrics. But um I don't know if you remember, I was actually at one of your earliest like on stage moments. Uh -huh. And I'm I'm gonna show you a video. I'll show you a video. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Hey, this was um. When is the the fucking when is the law? Yeah. It right. was um. No, man, that was actually like you weren't even performing. You weren't on on the flyer. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Game show. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> Super small venue in Atlanta. Yeah, we just had went back there and did the big like the bit like the bit law. Oh yeah. That shit was like. That was cool. That was cool. See what we just did, like from that to what we did, bro. Right? It was cool. Right? Like a lot has changed, bro. And I think um, that's something to be so proud of, you know? Like how does that yeah. all truly make you feel? And I know it's like hard to grasp, but like how does that make you feel now in 2024? Like seeing that video, you know? Mm. Shoot. It's like eye opening, to be honest. Like, bro, you just gotta stay with the shit. Mm. That's all that tell me. Just keep staying with the shit and it's gonna keep getting bigger. Mm. Like, and cool. yeah, I, mean, I know that like, bro, you are not an overnight success because like yeah, I've seen bro. it from the beginning and I really want to like peel back the story, you know, even from like when you were a kid, you know, like I'm just curious, like you grew up in Atlanta, right? At that time, hmm. at that time, music wasn't even like, like didn't even have no idea what music was going to be <laughs> for real. See, my mom was from, my mom was from Atlanta too as well. Mm. She likes R and B music though, mm -hmm. so that's why I got like the slow songs and stuff. Yeah, from. my dad he was like he was listening to all the crunk like all the crunk <laughs> stuff. He was but listening like Lil John like, and stuff or like yeah like uh <laughs> not Lil John <laughs> but like Eight Ball. It's like old mm. like old people used to play in the club. Get the club crunk mm. like start fights and stuff <laughs> like that. <laughs> but that's where I got like the hip hop side from my dad. I think interesting. So. But, so what R and B artist was your mom like playing like at that time? We had just we was just listening to some Marvin Gaye as well. Yeah. But like <laughs> like artists like that, like mm. like just all the old classics, like the real musicians I say. I noticed that in one of your shows you had this like Jamaican DJ play mm -hmm. as an opener. <laughs> which I'm like, artists are not doing that. So was was any of that like part of your, your influence? Like growing Oh up yeah, I used to we used to listen to a lot of like well, my grandpa, he used to listen to like a lot of like just Bob Marley, like, bro, it's like an old video. I got, I got it on my phone. Like, we used to go downstairs and he used to like just put on like Bob Marley, like mm -hmm. classics. And I used to have like a mic and just used to say them. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> just walking around loud as shit, just a little kid. Oh, man. Also shit. And That's I remember funny, those, those good memories. Hell yeah, um, hell yeah. Nothing tops being like a kid and just playing and like not having worries and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Man, you were also, I hear that you were like in the in a band. Not in a band, but like in your school, you played instruments yeah, yeah. in the band. Yeah, I was, yeah, yeah, like the like the real band. I played drums and I played the trumpet as well. Mm. And the trumpet, bro, I feel like that got me right with my like, my lungs, bro. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? I was, I started making beats as well. Like mm. after 
got right with the drums in like sixth grade. Damn, you were making beats in sixth grade? Yeah, I was making beats before I started rapping. Oh shit! Why so even did the rap? What did you What did you use? FL. Like at the time, I didn't even know you could record for real. <laughs> but then, like when I wanted to, that came later on. Bro. It's kind of funny. Like it's kind of funny. Like I was doing beats before, but nobody even know that for real. Like they just know I was rapping. Did you ever do beats for like an artist, or were you just making them for fun? I was just making them for fun. Yeah. Just trying out the music shit, seeing you know, how I could do with it. I need to get back in. I need to get back in my bag with that shit, like yeah. making beats again. Would you ever produce for yourself? You think? Hell yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because like you know what you want, right? Yeah. Mm. Definitely will. And Another thing that you did, um, kind of growing up, which I thought was crazy. Like I've seen your basketball highlights, and like I play basketball, so like I can understand when someone is, like, like really hard to guard. You know, this is like a menace. Like, <laughs> I think that's you, bro. Like, you, like, did you take that serious or what? Yeah, it was. That was definitely like, like that was the main goal at first, like before the music. You were trying to be a basketball player. Oh yeah, and they were trying to go to the league. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the that's the goal. Anybody, I don't care what anybody say. They hooping, they trying to go to the league. Especially you a kid, like you got no aspirations to go to the league, like bro. Like now, I don't, I could care less about. The league. Yeah, I mean, now like, it's just like you play for like, fun though. Yeah, yeah, I play for fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. but now, bro, I just don't be trying to get hurt no more. Mm -hmm. Why well, like, have you gotten like a big injury from basketball before? Yeah. I had, to my really would end my shit. I had fucked my knee up. I had to get um surgery on my shit. Oh shit. And I was out for my whole junior, senior year. I couldn't play no more. So it was like at that time mm. it was over for me. Yeah, yeah, I guess I guess music made the most sense then, especially because you were injured, you know? Yeah. What would you say it was like the song or the moment that had people turning heads being like, yo, like who is this hard rock guy? You know? I think the year was like twenty twenty two, from what I remember. Really, I think it started with Flex Up, to be honest. Mm. And then after that, I think I had dropped Kai's hands. After that, it was over. Like, it was just over. <laughs> that's what I would say. I was going to say God's hands. That's how yeah. I really found out about you. And then that's how I saw, like, all of these pages being like, yo, what is this song? Like, I don't yeah. know. When I heard God's hands, I was like, the the 808s are crazy. This guy sounds like he's from the future. Um, <laughs> like your voice just sounded so different. What do you think that song, God's Hands, did for you know for your journey? Mm, paved the way, I guess. On some shit. Mm. Well, no, nah, I guess it definitely did pave the way. <laughs> like, <laughs> I be saying, I guess just like, like I guess, <laughs> but like that be the truth. On some shit. it's real. Like God's Hands was definitely the start. Mm. Probably gonna walk out of this today at my show. To God's hands? Yeah, probably yeah. a good moment. You know what I mean? I feel like God's hands would be cool for you to walk out to, or like, poet. Or I don't know, just like... Yeah, one of those songs. One yeah. of those, right? Yeah, yeah. I, um, man, I remember at that time there was like a serious, serious bidding war for you when that song came out. And it's so crazy because I had just like made a post about you or something. People were hitting me up to get to you. And I'm like, I barely even know this guy. Like, why are you, why are you hitting me up? And it was, that's like the demand that was on you, you know? So do you kind of like remember that time when there was such a like overwhelming demand for hard rock and like everyone's trying to contact you? Yeah, I mean it's still yeah they still be doing it like <laughs> <laughs> to this day. Like I don't know if you be looking for me like um like just tucked away from or something like I don't know. I be I be willing to talk to people, but like sometimes just be like I know what they asking for and stuff. Like what their intentions yeah, are. Like what the intent is. So. Mm kind of like i don't know but at that time it was hell of people hitting me up though like they would hit my email mm. they was hitting me on my phone i had to change my numbers and shit mm. yeah it was pretty crazy back at that time man i bet um were there any artists i'm sure there were like artists that like tried signing you nah it was definitely some I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna <laughs> yeah. say. but like yeah it was it's cool though like I, I get it though at the same time. If you get like a good group of artists together, you could be like, you could start a good label on some shit. So I wouldn't argue that. I might do it too. So. That's something you want to do one day? Yeah, if it's, yeah, probably like later down the line though. Right, right, right. That makes sense. I um I kind of want to fast forward to like your your big mark in my opinion, which was when you dropped one of one. Um, first of all, I just want to say great storytelling, you know? Appreciate it, appreciate it. Because I think that a lot of people, if you wonder like, yo, did they catch on? Did they catch this that I was telling the story from the beginning and the middle and the end? Like I did. Like I saw, like I love the music part of it, but I like when you were like talking throughout the album. You know, like oh, it's like I think like it was marathon where you were like. Remember I got my phone back and I just looked 
perplexed. I was just looking at texts, like, mama, I'm up next. Fuck mama, I'm up now. Like, I remember I got my phone back and I was looking so perplexed. Um, I was looking at texts and was that, I'm gonna assume, was that when you came back from the military and you saw your phone and everyone's trying to like hit you up or? Yeah, it was, that was basically it. Yeah, basically yeah. like just looking at my phone and seeing what's going on. And like, I'm not even in, not even in that realm, like that space. Like I'm in a whole nother mind space realm, all that. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> going crazy you know what i'm saying yeah. so what, do you, what do you mean by you got your phone back though at the time i didn't even have like i had no connection like no uh way of talking to like my family or any, anything at that point just me and my mind i guess just my thoughts and just thinking yeah but then like coming back and seeing what all the work i had did and what i had did it was pretty cool though yeah so, was there like one specific song you came back to see and you're like, yo, what the heck? This was at like 10K views before. What the you know fuck what is saying? this now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's basically like every, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, when I had, I had, I forgot what I had dropped at that time, but like all the numbers are just boosting. We was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh. So yeah, that was, that was cool, yeah. That was real organic fans. Um, yeah. Why yeah. did you join the military? I'm, I'm, everyone has like been wondering, you know? Um, well, Actually, I had a little influence. My dad was in the military as well, so mm -hmm. like, I wasn't really school was never my thing for real. Like, I hate school so much. I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> like, but it's it's the worst. So like, going to college, I already knew what I was gonna do. I was gonna drop out mm -hmm. probably, like, first year, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like, so it just been a waste of time for real. Like, bro, when I tell people I was in the military, they're like, damn, you young as hell. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but it's like it gets you, it gets you um, ready for the real world. Mm. I say, like, nobody gon' really care what you got going on. You gotta care about yourself and shit. Mm. It's growing up. But like, yeah, my dad was in the military though, and I was just like, I don't want to go to school. He was like, bro, you might as well just go to the military. You know what I'm saying? Get yeah. the, you know what I'm saying? I was like. Say fuck it. <laughs> it was really just some fucking shit like this. Really? Like, yeah. But being in the military, like, it made me lock in on the music shit, for real. It was cool, but, like, I knew I didn't, I wasn't doing this, like, my whole damn, right. you know what I mean? Like, as a career and shit, I just wanted to see what it was like. It's mm -hmm. like, like, oh, it's cool. But this music, though, this music shit, oh, this is going crazy. Mm -hmm. So let's do this, you know what I mean? How does that work so, though? Like I don't even under how you can record music while you're in the military. Like you can do anything you want, <laughs> but really? like you just gotta make your own time. Mm. It don't matter what you really doing. You can do whatever you want. To be honest, I was making like when I was in school, like school. I wasn't even doing my homework. I'll just get get back home, and start making songs and see. Like songs, that. yeah. Yeah, and mm. it was the same thing in there too. Just get off work or whatever just go straight to making music yeah you know what i mean did that um inspire your actual music at all or like your subject matter because i can kind of you know i you yeah, kind I of like so. show flashes of it yeah yeah i mean definitely i don't i'm like i i use what i like in my music i use my life like you know what i mean like i'm not using you know, like making no shit fake up. yeah it's not no fake shit. i mean mm. it's real i mean yeah, especially I take the time on my music, so like what I'm mm. saying is like it's what I want to on there. Yeah, it is very intentional. I feel like yeah. um, I can tell you're the type to have a lot of music that you scrap because you weren't like 110% on it, you know? Yeah. Um, but I want to talk about your music in the last like two years because I think Wave, that song, it, it was so like odd at first when I listened to it, but then it was like enjoyable at the same time. Like I What's think. This? It took me like six listens to be like, wait, this is actually kind of genius, you know? <laughs> I'm like, it's it's curated so well. Like, what um, what made you want to work with Benny X and, and Filthy? That was so cool to see as a fan, you know? Oh, Benny, bro, Benny had, Benny had to hit me up. Benny was going, bro, that's my dog. I ain't gonna lie, Benny, like, he was sending me packs. I forgot, I think that was way back. I was in the military as well. The first beat he really had sent me was like BOA or whatever they call it. BOA is what I call it, but mm -hmm. um, that was the first beat he had sent me. And like, I was just like, 
Then yeah, it's different, like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like now everyone see, but like back then I was like, nah, he got he got this he got the sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he had hit me up. I forgot how long he hit me up though. I think it was twenty twenty two maybe. Mm. Interesting. What about what about filthy? I ain't never well I met I'm first time I met filthy was in Paris. Mm. Which is weird. <laughs> like, <laughs> well filthy he ain't from Atlanta. He from he from Philly. Oh right, right, right. Filthy oh. is from Philly. True. But he works with a lot of Atlanta artists, so it kinda makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Cause it's just like his 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 beats is different, like bro, like bro, it'll be like fifty people to send you his beats. Like his beats be getting around sometimes. Like, yeah, bro, I be noticing that. Well, I do think that your beats have just gotten like somehow better and better. Um, I want to shout out. I think is it Saint or is it No Saint? Yeah, it's Saint. But Saint. No Saint is just like tag No Saint. He bro, is so, Saint. so talented, and I I think he supplied you with like the best yeah. beats. Um, talk to me about like what your and his dynamic is like because he's a very to me underrated producer. Oh yeah, for sure. Like he just it's kinda what I got. You just gotta have that ear. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like that really come down to it in the day, man. Bro, he be making so many beats of the day, bro. Like it's insane. Like <laughs> when you say he'll cook up, it'll it'll take him like ten minutes on one beat and he on to the next beat on some shit. Saint and like the Vanguard. Mm. All of them really got like the they got the sauce. When it's album time for you, what do you look for in a beat, and what do you what's like your your nose like you cannot have in a beat, you know? I tell niggas my only nose like I only have like for some reason I don't be liking like just like certain kicks. Mm. To me, I don't want no kicks on my beat. I just want straight eight oh eight banging like you know yeah. what I'm saying. Speakers knocking like I don't. I don't want to hear none of that kick shit. But like sometimes it sometimes it sounds cool. Mm. I'm not just saying it's just like it just most of the time, as you can tell, like you can hear in my beats as well. I don't really like like kicks and shit like that. I just like 808s, melodies, crazy melodies. Mm. Like here in New York, you just got kicks in like all they like all mm. the songs. You come down like Atlanta, man, I don't think Yeah. I don't even, I don't even think nobody really rocking with me like that. I like what you're saying. I uh I think that what's really cool about your beats is that you incorporate a lot of rock into your music. I mean, hence the name, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, tell me about that. You have sampled Linkin Park, um, Avril Lavigne, which is like so ill, <laughs> you know? Shit. What what made you want to, uh, what inspires you to put rock into your music? I mean, rock is music. Mm. Rock is music. And um, it's definitely probably top. One of the top genres, always. I've been listening to rock for a minute as well. Because I listen to, now I listen to a lot of bands. Chili Peppers, like bands like that mm. and shit. Interesting, yeah. yeah. Does that kind of influence your um, performances at all, you think? Like the way that rock artists perform at their shows? Yeah. I mean, yeah, this is all that, that I implement that. You got to fit your music, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, you got to be rocking out on stage, bro. No like, doubt. How do you feel about, like, I, mean, I, saw, I just saw this online. I'm sure you love your fans being passionate and, like, talking about you and whatever, but, bro, you had, like, like 700, 800 songs leak. Like, yeah. I would be so frustrated, you know? I mean, like, if I'm being honest, they weren't dropping. <laughs> like, really? All, none of those nah, are dropping? Like, bro. Like, I was just, <laughs> those were songs I listened to, like, just, like, on the bullshit, like, every day. Mm -hmm. On some shit. And when I seen it, it was just I was just like, bro, all right. <laughs> like, yeah. Obviously, I got more songs than that. Those are pretty old songs too. Really? I mean, hey, I hope they enjoy them though, because <laughs> like they, were, like I said, we probably weren't dropping them. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah it, it, it is what it is, bro. Um, you know, I want to know about your your vocal inflections. You do that really well, where you'll like change up your voice in your songs. Um, I don't know. You'll pull like a Mr. Krabs voice out of your arsenal, and I'm just like. <laughs> There's no way he just did that. You know, it's like what what makes you want to do that? It's it's very unique. Well, I mean, sometimes when I be in the booth and I just like want to change something, it's just like I just want to change like the way it's going, like the flow or something like that. Just change the flow and the voice. And the voice. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like. Sometimes it'll be like if you want it just gets boring sometimes you go on the song and like a person just doing like the same thing all the way through. Like we get it. I mean yeah. you can do it. But it's like bruh, 
what else can you do with the beat? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah. It's so many other flows sometimes I be thinking about when I hear beats. Like, I be, like, I be in the booth, I be, I just start spinning. Like, just start spinning. I yeah. had to, like, slow my mind down sometimes. Because, <laughs> like, bro, especially because the way I record, like, I'll be, I'll record myself. That's how I started. When mm -hmm. I got in, like, real studios and it would just go, like, bro, I could be in the booth for six minutes just mm -hmm. freestyling. Mm -hmm. They'd be like, bro. <laughs> like, bro. You gotta actually put something together on some shit. Yeah. So I be trying to plan it out all the way through. No, I love it, bro. I think when I read comments too, that's the thing that people enjoy about you is that you just like are not afraid to take risks, yeah. right? So keep changing your voice and things like that. I think it's interesting. Yeah. You know, you you seem kind of reserved when it comes to collaborating. I feel like like on your project, it's mainly you, right? Um, what's the main reason for that? You know, are there artists in this scene that you really like and listen to, like? Why don't you collaborate that much? Well, collaborating, really just be like, because I'm so picky, like, mm. that's really just, I'm just so picky with my music. Like, I'll hop on, I'll like do like, I do, uh, I do collabs, I do collabs all the time actually, but it's like, for like something I want to like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, it's got to be a whole different like thought process. We'll probably be in the stool for some days. Yeah. Like, putting it together making it the hardest it can be. So do you think that you have a lot of music with artists, and you just have not put it out yet, and you don't plan to put it out? That, but like sometimes, like I hear the song, and like some people won't even like, some artists won't like the song either. Mm. I won't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna drop the song like someone else don't like it. You're not gonna force it? Yeah, I won't, I won't force it. Cause you wouldn't like that if someone did it to you too. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah. But some people don't got the same etiquette, so. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't really, it's, Oh, it's, you're saying people different. have done that in the past where they just dropped yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm not that type. I don't do that. That's not like, cool. bruh, that's not cool at all. No, definitely not. That definitely will ruin a connection with, like, somebody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, Some people think about, like, the, the short-term play too much, and, like, it comes back to bite them later when they're like, man, honestly, like, I shouldn't have done that because I could have kept making music with this person, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, you, like, bruh, let's just, <laughs> just play, just be cool, bro. <laughs> just be yeah. cool, you know what I'm saying? Like. I feel it. This would be cool. Are there any artists right now that you do listen to in your scene? You know, just like you said, you always have your AirPods on, you're listening to stuff. Like, are are there artists you're listening to right now that are like in this new younger scene? In this scene? Bro, I, Saints, Saints, look, Saint don't be probably one of the best rap producers. Oh, wow. Like, yeah. Rapper producer, mm -hmm. like wise, and a couple, like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, like, I've already said it. So, like, I listen to him a lot, like, bro. That now that you say that, now that you ask me that, I be listening to that Saint most of the time, yeah, all the time, or some shit. But yeah, oh shit, <laughs> yo, Swan, <laughs> Swan, <laughs> nigga, I was just talking about you. <laughs> like, oh, <shit>. Okay, <laughs> now that makes sense. I was just talking about you, bro. Yeah, I'm finna, you finna, I'm finna let you talk to our son. Hold on. What's That's up, bro? Right there. We, were, we were just talking about what's going on, bro. We were just talking about you in the interview, and I asked who's some artist you listen to, and Hard Rock's like, Saint's gonna be one of the biggest rapper producers in a few years. Mm -hmm. Bro, I fuck with that, bro. Like, he's really working, bro, for real. Yeah. yeah. That shit going crazy. Hell yeah, bro. Keep me in the loop. I'm trying to, I'm trying to hear the stuff. Shit, shit, tell, uh, shit, tell Rock, uh, give me my, give you my number. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We're in the middle of, like, an interview right now, but we're, uh, oh, we'll, shit. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it after, though. Yeah, man, these high as hell, bro, but, yeah. <laughs> Here you go, bro. Here you go, bro. <laughs> That's funny. The, the timing on that is funny, because <laughs> we were just talking about that. Um, yeah, yeah. I... So, yeah, so I think I was asked, so you listen to him, um, who's some of the artists that, that you listen to, like, in this scene, or even, like, they could be older, you know? Um, Saw Baby always in my rotation, mm -hmm. so I just, that's all I'm like, <laughs> like, his his music got that feeling, like, that's that music, too, where I talk about, where I talk about putting the air part in, just, like, I feel like his, like, the beats, the likes in it, like, just everything, like, just... Mm -hmm. It just brings you out of calm, so you know what I'm saying? No doubt. So I say Saw. Saw makes sense. So what's like your favorite like Saw Baby song that you like your go to? Probably some on release. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. Some release. I feel it. I feel it. I like um 
uh, well, Squid Tastic is a great tape, but like Boyfriend off that album is like mm -hmm. really good. He just oh, has, yeah. he creates like worlds with his beats. I feel like. Uh -huh. and, yeah. His, he got oh yeah one on there. Uh, it's a song called Geronimo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that be my go to. That's the one. That be my go. <laughs> That's the one. I remember seeing you. Um, like two years ago maybe or less but you were like featured on frank ocean's like radio show you know mm. and to me that was so cool because i'm like how is this artist that me and like some people know about like reaching someone like like a frank you know oh, i was i would fucking know too but right? i don't know <laughs> i don't know how that stuff be happening but that's that's a definitely cool moment though like when i seen that that's like one of the moments like oh sh <laughs> you know frank ocean. yeah yeah that was definitely like they they be tapped in though um Really, really, like, all the big artists be tapped in, for real. Has yeah. someone hit you that you were, like, a little bit surprised by? You're like, well, I did not know that you were listening. Actually, I, Avril Devine did, bro. Avril Devine. Like, Avril bro, Levine was, listens to you? I mean, yeah, that was, that was, that was weird as hell. Like, bro, that was, <laughs> that was crazy. But, um, well, it's not crazy listening to me, but Waka Flock did hit me up. Waka Flock, <laughs> that's crazy. And yeah. I was just, like, the way he hit me up, though, he had hit, he had texted me, he was like, what new music? <laughs> Man, I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? The I'm fuck like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, it's coming soon though, but like, I just didn't know like he was even tapped in for it. You know what I'm saying? Who is like one of these like upper echelon artists, like a Frank or something that you eventually do want to work with one day? Always forever thug. Mm -hmm. um, just like, yeah, <laughs> free thug. Like, yeah, that shit would be crazy though. Well, future always too. I'm still a lot of lucky too. Yeah. I feel like Lucky underrated as like big artist wise. Like he pretty like he been around for a minute as well. Yeah. So it's he's kinda like I kinda kinda like fan base wise, I wanna I like the way that he does it. I want that organic. It was a very slow grind for him, but yeah, like Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Slow grind is good though. Yeah. Keep you grounded and like just like more connected with the fans. Yeah. So yeah, that's true. I, that would be hard. I can see that. That's like he has some diehards. Um, who I want to hear you on a song with, if I can give you my thoughts, is um, I think ASAP Rocky would would be amazing mm. if he had tapped in. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that would be. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. That that would be crazy yeah. for sure. I don't know what what you got going on and you know with who you're talking to, but ASAP Rocky would make a lot of sense. I feel like he is very much tapped into the right young artists, you know. Um, and I could see you going on his vibe more so if you guys were to ever work. Yeah, he, actually, he's tapped in. He's tapped in. He tapped in. Yeah, he was tapped in a while back. Actually. Really? Earlier? Yeah, now she had me thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. And you, ASAP Rocky, on like a Clams Casino beat. I think that would be mm -hmm. like. Hell yeah. yeah. Clams is crazy, but Clams Casino is crazy, man. Yeah. Well, ASAP Rocky, I was actually going to say Lucky as well, but you said it. Um, and then there's this artist. He's smaller. His name is Two Hollis. Um, Two Hollis? Two Hollis, yeah. He, uh, he's with Ian a lot lately, but um, he makes like very, very different music. It could be like house, like, like electronic music, you know. Um, and I could see you venturing off and doing different sounds. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. keep that in mind. I, I would like to see that one day. All right. um, but yeah, I think one of the last few things I wanted to ask you is like, um, it was such a cool moment as a fan to see when you were walking for, I think it was Alix, right? Yeah. yeah. How did that happen? Like, I'm guessing it was Ma Matthew that, like, yeah, reached out. He, like, right? he was tapped in for a minute. And yeah. he literally just takes me, like, so this is probably, like, the most chillest. Like, but everything is, like, some extravagant, like, way of. He just literally takes me, like, yo, you trying to come to, <laughs> trying to, come to Milan right now? I was yeah. like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, at the time, we, like, bro, we didn't, even, I didn't even know I was walking, when, like, till I got there. Like, so I, was, you, I was just going just, just to watch. I mean, to go to Milan, I ain't never been to Milan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, let's go. And then I get there, he like, yo, you trying to walk uh, in my little show? I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, we walked in, it was like a factory and everything, just like, was trying a bunch of stuff on. And I was just trying it on. He was like, yo, you trying to walk? <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> like, of course. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's that's a though. That's a game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, he, Matt, bro, he is so Matt cool as hell. Yeah. Like, yeah. How is your guy's relationship now? Because he has touched like music as well. Like aside from his own stuff, he like did some creative stuff on Whole Lot of Red. Yeah. I just know he's super tapped in. So like, um, yeah, he's tapped you know, in. what's your guys' relationship like? Does you send him music and things like that? Or? Mm -hmm. it, I send him, <laughs> yeah, I send him music and it just be talking about like 
up and coming plans he got going on. Like send me some like clothes, like whatever, like what he's working on and shit. Really just like just creative wise, you know what I'm saying? Just sending him art and seeing what we can put together on some shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, we definitely got some shit coming though. Tell you. Yeah, so. yeah, I know I know he has another project coming as well, so like we'd love to hear you on that. Yeah. Um Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I think uh after twenty twenty three, um I have heard a lot of artists that like kind of tried to like bite your sound a little, if I'm being honest, like I'll hear in the beats a little bit, you know, um, and just like their voice, like the way they mix their songs. Like, have you, have you kind of seen like that? I don't know. I mean, inspir I just say like people take inspirations from everybody, like whoever makes music got inspo in some way. Yeah. So, I mean, Whatever makes whatever makes you like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever whatever you fucking with, like, you know what I'm saying, whatever makes it hard, I say keep doing it. But I feel like I be changing my shit up so much, like you can't really It doesn't even matter, I think. Like, yeah, don't like yeah, when you when you when you can, like you change Yeah. It don't really matter, like but That's fair. I got that, I got that. Um hey man, I uh I appreciate you. I um wanted to do this for a while. Genuinely, I think you are one of the most exciting new artists right Appreciate now. Appreciate it, bro. Yeah, I love the storytelling, so please keep doing that. Just the voice changes, like all of it. It's very uh, unique, and uh, I've never seen your show when you're this big, so I would like to come tonight. Say, hey, yeah, you got me there. This yeah. is going to be lit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to pull up, and um, yeah, just good luck, man. Good luck on everything, and I appreciate, appreciate it, bro. Same, same. Cool. Appreciate you. I rock. I'm watching KTO. Yeah, sure. Yo, thank you guys for watching that Hard Rock interview. That was a rare one. Like, I did not think that he'd do an interview anytime soon and to do it with us, that was so special. And you guys finally got all that info that you were looking for about him. Um, please do hit subscribe and like and comment if you enjoyed that interview. But yo, we got a crazy announcement, I think. I think. Tune into our Instagram, at Kids Take Over, within like a day and you guys will see it. But this shit just gets crazier and crazier.